Yeah, uh, this is the kind of stuff I've been working on for the last uh, few months, I guess maybe a year or something now. But yeah, the kind of um, stream of consciousness kind of thing. I'm trying not to think too much what I'm doing, I'm just kind of doing it now rather than planning um, an outcome for what it's supposed to look like. I'm just um, seeing what happens really in the attentive the ones that I like best. So certain ones where I've tried to plan what it might look like uh, when it's finished. Yeah, it was not really rubbish to me, so I much prefer the ones where I just, I don't really concentrate on what I'm doing, I just do it and kind of blank my mind really, um, and listen to all the best, so that's what I'm trying to do just now. Yeah, I mean, out of the three this, in this exhibition, this is, this is my favourite one out of the three, um, it's, it's probably the newest one I think out of these three, but yeah, just um, try to put as much detail and as much kind of clashing colours in as possible to try and... Um, I like the ones that kind of trick your eye and that are kind of difficult to look at. Anything that's kind of difficult appeals to me in that way. Um, but it's interesting that this seems to be the one out of the three that um, other people seem to like best too, which is funny. You know, you think if you're doing something this abstract, um, you'd get a general spread of people liking different ones, but people seem to like the same one. It seems to be a universal um, language of pattern. It's kind of subconscious somehow. But, I've been looking at a lot of patterns recently since I've started doing these and there's so much different artworks from different cultures around the world that use, sim use a similar kind of pattern forms that um, seem to be influenced by each other but actually can't be, you know, in that way. So there seems to be some deep, deep level subconscious kind of pattern things going on somehow. A lot of people have said that some of them have that kind of Aboriginal kind of thing or kind of Eastern art um, and that's kind of interesting. So I think this is and you kind of don't think too much about what you're doing. I think you kind of access some deeper level kind of things sometimes. Um, but yeah, there's some kind of forms in this one, the kind of swirly things that are kind of the first time I've done those, uh, which I really like on that one. I try not to cross-reference too much anyway, I just try to kind of do them. But they're kind of, you know, there are bits that people like, you know, people go, oh, I like this bit or whatever, and it's kind of quite interesting. But I try and keep I like things that move around a bit and they're kind of difficult to look at in that way as well. Um, just partly because it annoys people. Uh, so the, how many of these pictures uh, have you done so far? Uh, I think I've probably done about um, 9 or 10, yeah, something like that. I'm slowly, I'm kind of refining them as they go along so they kind of get, most of them get better. There's one of them that I really didn't like, um, which I wasn't feeling very good at the time when I was doing that and it's interesting because it seems to show on the picture somehow and um, yeah, it's nowhere near as detailed and it's kind of, um, yeah, it's just not as uh, complex somehow So that, and that's kind of interesting. But this one here was one that I actually, um, I didn't do in the same way as the others really, I actually, this is actually based on patterns and textures and stuff from the um, the Kibble Greenhouse up at the Botanic Garden, so I actually did go in and take some photos there and kind of use that. So this is actually did kind of have an outcome uh, in mind when I was doing it in that sense. So it's kind of different this one, but this was like the third attempt at it. Um, and I just scrapped the other two because I wasn't really happy with them, but I am you know, happy with this one this time. But yeah, so this is, this is kind of a combination of trying to do something that kind of um, is representative of something that's real in the physical world. And also patterns that aren't in that sense, so it's kind of a, a balance between those two. Uh, you know, I think, I think it's quite good. But the other two that um, I scrapped were trying to be too much like the real thing in that sense. Uh, I didn't like them, they didn't, they didn't work for me at all. So, so I've used some of the patterns here from the kind of greenhouse and the kind of leaves and stuff on there, but um, you know, most of the colours obviously are just not real in that sense. But, um, I really love that place too, which is why I wanted to use that place because um, we spent many hours sat in there, you know, and, uh, um, so it's kind of nice to do something. Um, plus, it's an architectural interior, which is what I kind of the remit was. Isn't it?